Well, hello everyone. I am here with my sister and we are going to be discussing sexual orientation. She is bisexual and we'll be discussing that. How are you today, I'm, my sister? I'm doing great. How are you, my sister? <laughs> I'm doing well today. Yeah, we're first time that we're actually making a video on this channel. If you follow me on my L Stone channel, then you've seen her yeah. before, so without blue hair. Yes. That's new. <laughs> yes, that's a uh, new a new thing for her. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, get right into this. So, when did you realize you were bisexual? Okay, well that took a long time because uh, growing up I knew about gay, I knew about lesbian, but I knew I liked boys and then I just had these feelings towards girls that I didn't understand. And so because I just thought you had to be one or the other, I was like, well, I'm not a lesbian, so I must be straight. And then Lady Gaga came out, and she came out as bisexual. She was like, yeah, I like both. And I was like, you can do that? So I was very excited. I was like, that's what I am. That explains so much. And then, you know, as I look back on my life, I'm like, yeah, I was definitely very interested in girls and guys my whole life. And I just didn't realize it because I didn't know you could be bisexual. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And I would say I'm... I'm somewhat similar in a in a way because initially I always was I was only interested in uh women for the most part and then I guess just over like the past few years it's it doesn't really matter at this point yeah. if it's male or, or female so yep. um do you feel that was the same same with you like you felt perhaps maybe even pressured initially to only like men yeah because you know when you're a girl and you have all these girlfriends they're like oh did you see that guy he's so cute and I was just like yeah and they're like oh did you see his butt and I was like I don't care about his butt <laughs> <laughs> and I realized like as I got older and I realized my sexuality I found I'm more attracted to females generally mm. like there are men I find attractive but it's more likely that I find a girl I'm attracted to that I find hmm yeah interesting Okay, so now, big question. When did you come out? Okay, actually, I only came out completely to everyone within the last month. Wow. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. So that's kind of why I wanted to make this video, because it's now, because I'm only just now completely out to everyone. And it wouldn't be like, hey, watch her video. I'm on there. <laughs> okay, so... Now I remember when was the, when did you first tell me? It was like over a year ago, right? Yeah, I did tell you a while ago and okay. I was out to friends okay. for a long time. I just wasn't completely out to family. Okay, so it uh took a while for you to come out of the family and um I guess how what was what was the order of which you told the people? So I guess it was it was some of your friends first. Yeah, I it was my May. friends. Because my one friend came out as gay. Okay. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm bi. I never really hit it, per se. Like, I would talk about, oh, wow, she's really cute. <laughs> but it wasn't like, oh, I am bisexual. So, then it was, yes, then it was you. Okay. And then it was our grandmother. And then it was mom, my mom. Ah. Well, our mom. Okay. Nice. Okay. And that and that leads to very important question as well. Are your family and friends supportive? Of you. Absolutely. Like, I only have, like, one group of friends. So mm. the group of friends that is supportive of my gay friend is also supportive of me. Um, it's really not a big deal. In fact, my, one of my friends is also bisexual. Mm. She hasn't come out and said it, but we've talked about things, and I'm just like, yeah, so. Mm. Okay. And so they're all really supportive. In fact, we only have one, you know, there's only two of us in the group that are completely straight, mm. which would be my boyfriend and then his best friend. Ah, uh, okay. So the rest of us in the group are all on the LGBT like spectrum. Hmm. Was there anyone who was not supporting, or did perhaps was like, ah? Uh... Um, not to my face that I know of, and I think, but I think the reason that it took me so long to come out was just like the even within the LGBT community, I feel like there's this stigma, like, oh, mm -hmm. you like both, you're greedy, or mm -hmm. oh, you're with a man, so you must just be straight. You're not. You, you know, it's just, I, I wasn't scared that no one would support me. I was scared that people would be like, oh, you're just straight. Just, you're not even ever going to be with a girl. Just calm down. How yeah, do you know? Yeah, and that pretty much leads to the next question. Like, what stigma have you received re regarding being 
after, I mean, after I've come out, I haven't received anything. But I remember one time it was in the car with my father. And I know he was probably just joking. But he said something like, oh, they're just greedy. Mm. They're just trying to get double laid. Double and laid. Just, yeah, and I was like, <laughs> ah, I don't think so. I don't think that's really how it works. Mm, okay. And... You know, all the all the family is very supportive, which is good. All my all my family is very supportive of me too. Yeah, so well, that's we have the same good. family. Yeah, I don't know why I was so scared supposedly, to come out. It was supposedly. like supposedly, <laughs> supposedly. <laughs> yeah. It's like her thing was huge. Mine's just like oh, I also like girls on the side. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but even that, it's for a lot of people it may be kind of difficult to understand because for some people, some people can understand gay. Mm-hmm. Some people. Um, people have a hard time understanding bi- bisexual. It's like, wait, don't you like one or the other? Yeah. And then there's a different level even with transgender. It's like, wait, you are you identify as a completely different gender than you're currently living yeah, as. Yeah, and there's even, um, I've been watching this one YouTuber, and she doesn't identify as either. She mm. kind of is in the middle. So there's even transgenders like that where it's even harder because they can't say, oh, I'm a man or oh, I'm a woman. I mm. just kind of... In the little bit in between, and I think so. People have it's kind of like an kind of, androgynous. Yeah, okay. It's like the almost like the bisexual of the trans community. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. Now, um, was there anything else you wanted to mention? Um. Uh well, actually, uh, this is part of a collab series that we're doing. Yes, I was going. To, I was going to mention that too. Yes. Um, we haven't done it yet, but it will be coming very soon. We're going to be doing a video on my channel that I run with my boyfriend mm-hmm. called Awkward Gaming Couple, where I'm going to be playing a game with my sister here. Which is, is it awkward couple gaming? Awkward couple gaming. You said awkward gaming couple. Oh. <laughs> awkward couple gaming. Yes, I'll I have the link and, and the card and everything. I was like, I was like, wait a minute. I thought it was the opposite. Okay. Yes. I'm nervous. You you will be able to uh, find her a link, so yep. they will be there. If you want to check out her channel with her boyfriend, where they do mostly gaming videos, and I will be on there. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's not already on there, it'll be very soon. Our video together, that we play right. the game because you send this out too. I send this out. I we're recording this much earlier than it actually be posted. But yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, why don't, why don't you talk a little bit about that YouTube channel and what your goals are for it, how it started. And- oh, okay. Well, um, if you guys did watch the videos on her other channel, you know that I did say I was going to start one a long time ago. And if you ever visited it, you saw that there was two videos and then nothing else ever became of that. Um, so this time we have started it. I made sure to start it and get stuff done before I came on here and... Basically, we, we do play a lot of games. Um, if we're playing a single-player game, we try to make it fun. We have a challenge. Um, if we're playing a two-player game, we just have a lot of fun playing together. Sometimes we pass the controller back and forth, depending on the game. And we have plans for skits in the future. Mostly a gaming channel, but we definitely have plans for skits. We've done challenges already with special guests. Um, so I'm very excited about that. And I just hope that we can grow. And that was a big part of why I really wanted to do this collab, to try and, you know... Still some of your Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you would like to check her out and her boyfriend, then be sure to check that out because she, they're, they're posting more. So that's a lot more. Yes. <laughs> I mean, already better than before. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, certainly uh, check that out there. Um, now, was there anything else you wanted to mention? Not that I know of. Okay. So I guess the very last thing to mention then is what advice do you have for anyone else who may be, um, have, who is maybe hasn't come out or maybe feels as though they are bisexual, what kind of advice would you have for them? I think my, I think that you don't have to come out. Like, it is kind of a freeing experience, but I feel like there's a lot of pressure to come out. And, you know, maybe there are people in your life that won't necessarily be supportive. Mm-hmm. And unless you have your own system of support for yourself, like you're self-sufficient, maybe you shouldn't come out. Because what if, you know, you have a t- family that's really unsupportive and kicks you out, and then you're kind of on your own. So... You don't have to come out. I think that you should eventually in your life, but you don't have to right away. I guess it's, uh, it also depends on the comfortability of you and your family and your friends and being able to um, just find the right people who yeah. you know will be accepting. Yes, because like I said, I came out to my friends first and I knew they would be accepting. Mm-hmm. And it's just okay. like, know who you can feel comfortable with. And I guess... 
Um, also, kind of explore stuff. Because like I said, it took me a long time to realize what bisexual was. Mm -hmm. If, if you feel like you're a little bit different than other people, look, look it up. Because it was such a, like, freeing experience to be like, oh, my God, that's what I am. Because mm. all this time I just thought, man, I'm, I'm weird. Do other girls, like, think about other girls? Like, is that normal? <laughs> and I mean, it's normal. You're not weird. I just, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes. It was just different. Great. Uh, good advice. So, yeah, be sure to check her channel out if you would like to know. Uh... Not really know much more about her, but I guess just see her play in action. Her, play her in action, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, we, and we may do more videos sometime down down the line if you have any kind of questions. I'm sure there'll be people who have questions. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for coming on here. It was very nice. And well, thank uh, you for having me. I'm yeah. glad I could be a part of this. Yeah. All right, so we are going to end it now, and I thank you all for watching very much. So I will see you all later. Bye. -bye. Bye.